Hey everyone, it's Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy, and today I'm taking part in a collaboration hosted by Michelle over at Michelle Gay Science Teacher. And the name of this collaboration is called Encouraging Girls in STEM. And if you have not heard of STEM, STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. So if this is something that you're interested in, make sure to stick around. I'm going to leave a playlist down in my description box of other channels that are taking part in this collab. And I'm also gonna leave a link to Michelle's channel. Make sure that you check her out. She is an absolutely amazing science teacher. And we'll get started. excited to share with you today um, what we use, as, some of the things that we are using as STEM in our homeschool. So I can say coming from somebody who was public school educated, and it, it doesn't matter whether you're public school, homeschool, whatever school you are, but I can say that coming from the public school that I came from, I was not exposed really at all to anything until high school. And I wanted that to be different for my grandchild. So one of the first things I'm going to show you is something that I purchased a while back. And, you know, I fell into the, oh, we have to have a science curriculum this year and we're doing it and it is what it is. It's okay. And there are huge changes coming to our homeschool curriculum for next year. Um, and I'll share that later. But we are using this veterinary science kit that I picked up. Learn the science of becoming a veterinarian. Now, this is something that my granddaughter really wants to do. She really wants to become a veterinarian someday. So we're going to do a whole unit study based around veterinary science. How fun is that? And this is 23 pieces and it has, um, you can learn about x-rays, how to become expert in casting, practice suture techniques, and mold different kinds of ticks. Um, this is get ready to become a, very, a vet smart. <laughs> get ready to become vet smart. I can't read today. Learn a veterinarian's day-to-day -day routine. Find out what it takes to become a veterinarian and the work they perform for animals. Simulate animal x-rays and sonograms with red and blue lenses that reveal anatomy. Practice how vets close wounds and cuts with the soft plastic suture training skin. And learn how to make casts. Cast jelly replicas of four common ticks and learn which ones cause illness. So how cool is this? So this is one of the things that we are going to be incorporating in our homeschool for STEM. Okay, so on to the second thing that we are going to be doing. And I thought this would be perfect. It's going to fit in with our veterinary medicine. Um, and Hope has been really wanting to do dissection. And so I'm going to actually post a link or an iCard up at the top that you can check out that video that it will actually go through what I'm going to show you, the contents of this box. But I'm just going to let you know that we're going to be doing dissection and I'm going to show you the types of things that we're going to be dissecting. And yes, I have all the specimens, but like I said, you'll have to check out my video to see the specimens. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we are going to be dissecting a frog, a grasshopper, a clam, a starfish, a perch, and a crayfish. So you might want to stick around because I don't know, maybe we'll actually share when we do one of these dissections. I might actually do that. But that's one of the things that we're also going to be including in our STEM education in our homeschool along with our veterinary medicine. I thought that would be perfect. It would all fit in. It would all gel together. And it's not a science textbook. And I'm all about that anymore. I'm over textbooks. Okay, so here's another thing that we have used in our homeschool. I haven't used them recently, but I have probably like seven or eight of them that I still haven't um, done yet. And that's because the subscription was coming faster than we could actually use them. And they are Kiwi Crate. And this one is one on ultraviolet light. Um, and I figure at some point we're going to use it, absolutely. But these are a wonderful way to incorporate STEM also in your homeschool. 
Um, they have wonderful projects and different things that you can do. This is just one example. Um, we actually did one a couple of years on x-rays. That was really, really cool. Um, and if I had known we were going to do in the, be doing this veterinary medicine, I probably would have held on to that one and not used it. Um, but yeah, so for us, Kiwi Crate, and like I said, these have already been purchased. I don't get the subscription anymore, not because I don't like it, because I really do. We just, they got ahead of us and I had more than I can keep up with. Okay, so here's another gem that we have in our home school that was really fun. And at some point we probably will expand on this. Um, but it's been super fun and they're snap circuits. And we just have the snap circuits junior and it teaches, you know, you can do like sample projects and whatever and it's super simple to use. And it's for ages eight and up and it has like a list of the simple projects. So you can create your own exciting experiments and have fun learning all about electronics. This was this was and is super fun. Every once in a while we just, you know, grab it out and I will give you an idea. There is actually an um, experiment book included with this. So there's all kinds of experiments that you can do with this snap circuit. Really, really fun. We have a lot of fun with this. So I'm going to share with you one little last goodie that is also going to fit in with our veterinary science. Um, that'll be really neat, especially when we do dissection, because we'll actually be able to look at some of this good stuff underneath the microscope. So here is the microscope that we have, and it's not, it wasn't like a super expensive one. Um, and when I purchased it, I also purchased some slides to go with it. So we have a bunch of different slides. Um, these slides have, let me see what do they have in there, like butterfly, yeah, butterfly legs, dragonflies, regular fly legs, grasshoppers, mosquitoes. So all kinds of different stuff in that one. And then this one here has like fish gills and um, I'm trying to read this stuff upside down. Shrimp, chicken blood, fish scales, all that kind of stuff is in there. And then this one is more plant-based, I do believe. Hold on. I'm trying to read upside down and backwards. There's um, eggplant hair, um, berry hair, onion skins. Those kinds of things are in that one. And then this one has um, oleander stems, carnation leaves, chrysanthemum petals, dandelion hair, etc., etc. So I just wanted to say that... Maybe I've gone, maybe I've gone a little bit over an overabundance in trying to bring those kinds of things to my grandchild. But that's because, like I said earlier in the film, is that I wasn't exposed to these kinds of things. I never even used a microscope until I was a sophomore in high school. Not until then. I took a biology class. As a matter of fact, up until my sophomore year when I took biology, because up to that point, I hated science. I'll be honest. I hated it. I was like, this is boring. It's so abstract. It's like not tangible. There's nothing fun about science. That's what I thought about it until I was a sophomore in high school and I took my first biology class and I fell in love with science after that because it was hands-on, because I was dissecting and I was using microscopes and I was hands-on. There was no hands-on up to that point. And it's so funny because that biology teacher had such a lasting impression on me and that he would even say stuff like when we had a, a test or a quiz, he would say, even after today's test, it's great to be alive. He would always say that and it always stuck with me. And it's become because of him that I developed a love for science. But honestly, up until that point, it didn't really mean a whole lot to me. It was boring. It was abstract. It was, it felt like it was out of my reach and untouchable. And I don't want my granddaughter to feel like it's out of reach and untouchable. Okay, everyone, that's it. That's the end of the collaboration, encouraging girls in STEM. Make sure that you check out Michelle over at Michelle Gay Science Teacher. She has amazing videos and I use her videos for STEM in our homeschool as well check out the playlist down below. God bless, take care, and I'll talk to you again soon.